Thank you all so much for being here and a very warm welcome from all of us at uh, NDTV, CNB of course and indeed I think I can now speak for all of you to say this is not just about us, it is about the automobile industry. So thank you all for being here. Uh, it is with great pleasure that we invite you to this very first set of awards that honor and recognize the contribution of the industry towards making the Auto Expo such a grand success. This is the 12th edition of the Expo and for the very first time being held at the India Expo Mart in Greater Noida. It is a new venue, there were lots of worries but it's all gone to plan. And so thank you all for joining us here at the Mercedes uh, Pavilion today and taking out the time to uh, recognize, reward and commend yourselves and not just uh, what we want to tell you, it is all about yourself. So please give yourselves a round of applause. The way we went about doing this was quite simple really. We listened to what our audiences were telling us, we listened to our viewers, we listened to uh, what kind of interaction we've had with people that we've met over the last one week. Uh, the idea was to try and understand what it is about what you have done that has excited people. That's what brings us to the various honors that we are looking at. So uh, we're going to start off straight away by uh, getting into the categories. But before we do that, let me invite Dhruv Behel to join me up here. Dhruv, of course, the editor of AutoX. You all know him. Hi, Dhruv. Now, of course, like I said, we wanted this to be completely comprehensive, so which is why both of us had a go at this. We listened to what people had to say on social media as well. And that is how we have come to uh, the decisions that will now unfold in front of you. So let's begin with the very first category. So first up, let me talk about the best pavilion for cars. So the best car pavilion goes to Honda Cars. ask you a quick question. Uh, the decision to uh, go about the particular layout that you had and uh, also of course the uh, you know the actual decision to open up cars to everyone. How did you come to that? Well that was a big learning at the last Auto Expo and even though at the last Auto Expo we didn't have any uh, eye candies in our booths but uh, we let all our cars be open all the time and that really worked for us. So that was one of the learnings. Thank you. Congratulations. Alright, so Honda Cars, the, uh, the best car pavilion. Of course, now we want to talk about the best pavilion for two-wheelers. Uh, so the best pavilion for two-wheelers goes to Hero Motorco. So Mandal, you have to tell us about uh, the plan behind doing what you did in terms of layout, in terms of having an outdoor arena, these are some of the things that excited people. Um, and of course the many products you put on display, I think that was clearly what excited people too. We've always had uh, the indoors and the outdoor uh, arena uh, to create excitement. But clearly this was, I don't remember an auto expo where we had a new product to show. And this time around, uh, we had so many new products and concepts to show that on hindsight, I think we should have taken at least three times the space that we had. All right, sir. Many congratulations. Thank you so much. Probably seeming a little predictable right now, the next award is for the best uh, pavilion in the commercial vehicle space. And this one's been bagged by Aisha, Volvo Aisha, I should say more specifically. So if we could please request you. Group, do you want to do the honors this time? How difficult is it in the middle of all these fancy cars and bikes to also make a place for your trucks? I would only say that in line with our uh, growing volumes and market share, this is the biggest presence we had in the Auto Expo ever. Uh, and we have displayed our complete new range in the category of 5 tons to 49 tons, both for trucks and buses. Many, many congrats. It was well worth the effort. Thank you. Thank you. Best. Premium Brand Pavilion Award is next and uh, once again, we'll request the group to do the honours. The winner, we're on that stand, Mercedes-Benz India. Lots of cars, lots of anticipation around those cars 
and a production debut imminent uh, on the stand as well. Uh, what's the response been like? Uh, I think the response has been fabulous. Uh, I was just telling somebody even if 1% of these guys start buying our cars, I think we are home uh, for a decade. So I think this Auto Expo has been a benchmark for us uh, the last couple of years. Thanks. Many congrats. Very well deserved and both of us want test drive soon. <laughs> All right. Now as we speak about pavilions, we want to quickly also mention that uh, one thing that really struck a chord with a lot of the visitors and we certainly got a lot of feedback on was places where people could not just look at things but also do things and there was lots of activities that many of you laid out but the one that stood out in particular was, uh, well, I'll let Dhruv do the honours and announce what it is but the idea here is to honour the best interactive pavilion or the best interactive activity for the visitors to the Auto Expo. This is one I enjoyed myself on for quite a, quite a while, the GT Academy. The Nissan GT Academy. So tell us about it, Sushant. Uh, the GT Academy, what's... Firstly, we know the idea behind it, but people coming to the stand, did they queue up to try out the uh, games for themselves? Uh, it's actually been... Uh, insanely overwhelming. I mean, we actually anticipated uh, much less crowd, uh, but we didn't know that so many people are interested in becoming racers and we are looking at novices. We want novices to come and participate and uh, anybody good with the quickest lap times can become racers. We'll train them into racers. I think there's been great response. We already have 350 participants and we are going further to uh, five cities, five malls and five cities. So it's going to be a big activity uh, here on. Looking forward to find out who wins eventually and goes across for the international part of it. Thank you. Many congrats. Save a spot for us. Yes, that's right. All right, we were very quickly going to move on to the very next category. This is uh, the best concept category. And first, we'll start with the two-wheeler space. The best two-wheeler concept goes to the Hero Hustle. Astro is good. We were told uh, it's it's Japanese for demon. So where did that idea come from? That wasn't the intention though. But clearly the intention is to come up with a product which will take them all on. What about the response to concepts really? From Indian manufacturers, that's not something that was considered the norm a few years ago. But the last couple of expos, we're starting to see that more and more. This year, for sure, we've seen it. Uh, response from the crowd? I think the, the visitors <coughs> at the Auto Expo are also uh, sort of evolving in terms of concept just like uh, us exhibitors. I have to tell you sir, uh, we both considered the ION very closely but crowd response, everybody loved that bike so we had to go with the Aster. So of course we're talking concepts, naturally we have to talk Actually. about the best concept on four wheels as well and uh, I can tell you that if you thought there was a lot of competition in the bike space, there was even more competition here. In the car space, we had lots of very interesting concepts put on display and the crowds lapped it up, drove the winner. So the best concept car of the show is one that's a beautiful sub for me to sit in, the Ford Figo concept. So congratulations. The Figo, everybody expected initially that it will be the hatch because we thought it's going to be the car concept being shown in Delhi. Um, and then you surprised a lot of people with the sedan. Thoughts behind not just bringing it here, but the intent from here on. Firstly, thank you very much for the uh, award to NDTV and CNB. And I know there'll be some very happy Ford designers globally uh, that'll get this award. So thank you very much. Uh, the whole intent of this was uh, expect the unexpected. And I guess that was what we did with uh, a four door Ford Figo concept. Quick question, you've just come into this new position, um, the Indian market's new to you in that sense and uh, you're probably just getting your bearings in, at Ford India. So what's your impression of the Auto Expo? I mean, you don't have a, a, a sort of any kind of background on, on baggage either. How do you see this? Um, I was very, very impressed. Uh, I've been to literally all of the Tier 1 shows around the world and we treat uh, India as a Tier 1 show ourselves. And uh, having just spent the last six years in, in China, and that's a tier one show as well, Shanghai, Beijing, this is very much up to a uh, tier one standard globally, which is terrific. Many thanks, uh, Nigel. Good to see you and congratulations. 
to the team. All right, uh, I'm going to leave you here for just a quick second because I'm told we have some some visitors here from the expo as well. I want to quickly get some reactions from them. All right, guys, let me get you these mics. Tell me your name. When did you first come into the expo today, and what have you liked about it? Well, myself, Rohit Sharma, and uh, I came here about eleven, and uh, then we visited like quite a few stands, and then we went to that uh, Nissan. Uh, place we we played at the simulator. It was a great experience, and uh, then uh, we visited like most of This is this is the favorite part of mine. Every time, like I've been following them since past three uh, auto expos, and I got I was lucky uh, from uh, like I got a chance last last time to sit in the SLS AMG, and this this is this is the most attractive part. I feel. Uh, in the auto expo. All right. What else besides Mercedes? What else did you like? To be honest, the first time I went to the Pragati Mandan Expo, I went here. I went there. I couldn't locate the places. Here, it, 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 it's it's well laid out. It's well laid out. It's more organized. I have to tell you that the other thing that excites us always, especially those of us on this side of the fence, new brands, new products, but new brands in particular because it also represents not just, well, more vehicles for us to drive, but quite sincerely, the market expanding, the consumer having greater choice, and that always is exciting. So we want to recognize and honor two brands who have recently just entered the Indian market or are imminent in their entry, but did choose the Auto Expo as a big platform to engage and interact with their future customers possibly. This was special. So the best brand entry from a four-wheeler perspective is Datsun. So the Auto Expo, big time for you to be able to sort of cash in on customer reaction. What's the, what's the reaction been though? Uh, uh, reaction is very enthusiastic. We are uh, receiving a lot of positive notes. So, and we are considering it as a big opportunity for us to serve Indian market and Indian customers. All right, we wish you all the very best and can't wait to see the cars on the road. Many congrats. And of course, we had a big debut quite recently in the two-wheeler space. Also, the first time ever that you saw Triumph bikes at the Auto Expo. So, if you could please invite Triumph to come up here. I think the announcement came at the last expo and this time you're here as a full-fledged player in the market. So Vimal, congratulations. Thank you so much. And I've got to quickly ask you that question. Uh, like I said, the last auto expo was the announcement. This time around, your bikes are in the market, people are already asking you about things like test drives, etc. And you cho chose to uh, bring in a new variant as well. So what's, what was the decision behind going big at the expo? See, as you know, the Triumph Motorcycle as a brand stands for the ride and uh, the categories which we bought into India is pretty large and we think India is a very strategic market for us and the response has been really, really phenomenal. Just to share with you, you know, in the last four days, I've been coming to Auto Expo for almost a decade now. I think uh, we had almost 500 serious buyers who filled in the form and said, I want to take a ride tomorrow morning. So that's the kind of the response we got. So we're excited about it and we're very happy about the whole show. What about the new bike? I think the new bike, we wanted to strengthen the super sports segment in India. And uh, we thought we must strengthen it by bringing one more brand of Daytona 675, which is a class leader since 2006 worldwide. And we thought we must bring it at a price point, which is competitive enough. And as it is known in India as a Tom Cruise bike, <laughs> and I think it will add up more and more customers to it. All right, so lots of potential Tom Cruises. Thank you so much. Many Thank congrats. Over the past few editions of the Auto Expo, we have had the chance to see some global debuts happening here as well. This time, more than ever before, you had lots and lots of significant global unveils. And so our next category is for the very best global debut happening right here in Delhi. And the winner. The winner for the best global debut is the Honda XS1 concept. I want to clarify here, uh, the Honda XS1 is the, our best global debut. 
because you chose specifically, congratulations firstly. Thank you. You chose specifically to, uh, to debut something in India, which is part of your global strategy when it comes to your concept vehicles. So, what was the driving force behind bringing the XS1 to Delhi? Two big reasons. Uh, one, it shows the commitment to the market and how important India is and is going to be uh, for Honda over the coming years. But everybody wants to know when you're productionizing it. It's got three rows of seats. It's sub four meter. I mean, come on. Uh, it's just a study model. Uh, you see, all our cars uh, are stylish, yet uh, we believe in the philosophy of uh, man maximum, machine minimum. And this is a study or a, what we call the Honda Vision XS1. So this is an extreme example of man maximum, machine minimum while having a, a sporty crossover styling. So it's marriage of the two impossibles really. All right. Well, we can't wait to see a production version. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's just a study model, no plans. Ah, okay. Well, we'll, we'll wait. <laughs> we'll wait patiently. Congratulations. All right. Now we wanted to talk about a category which is uh, typically what you see at global motor shows. Now remember, you always have uh, such recognition at the other big shows, which is why we wanted to bring it to our very own Auto Expo as well. And uh, quite simply, the best in show class, because this goes across variants, goes across segments, and it's purely based on what people have told us. And we have the first award in this category for the car space. And it is the car that's standing right next to us, the Mercedes GLA. Well, that's many congrats. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank you. That's a little advan home turf advantage that you get yeah, yeah, for being think, here. Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks everybody. Big cheering contingent. But uh, I remember that the pre-Expo uh, communication talked about the GLA as a, as a concept. And then you decided to change things around and bring us the production version and show it to people. Uh, the reason behind that and the kind of reaction you got to it. Yeah, uh, we have the concept still parked behind actually, uh, right here. Uh, a week before we were discussing internally and we thought that uh, Maybe if we show the concept, people may not believe us. They may not mm -hmm. think that we will, what would be the actual car look like. So this flew in actually on 4th of Feb, uh, around 3 o'clock. And we thought uh, it's better to excite the market and show the actual car. And I think the results have been quite encouraging. So that's... Well, the award is testimony to the yep. excitement, Santosh. Thank, Thank you. you. And many congrats. Thank you. Right, so the GLA is... Uh, the winner there, but we have, of course, the best in show when it comes to the two-wheeler space as well. And this one is uh, a bike that a lot of people approached us and asked, will it be at the Expo? And it was there in two avatars, not just one. So, like Siddharth said, in two avatars, the Bajaj Pulsar 400. Congratulations. Thank you so much and many congrats to Bajaj as well. All right, and uh, we have just the one award category left, which is of course for the cars that were launched at, cars and bikes, sorry, that were launched right here at the uh, 12th Auto Expo. First, let's do the honors for the bike space, the biggest market debut that's really taken the market by storm is the Harley Davidson Street 750. We knew you were going to bring the bike here. We'd already been at the global unveil, but it was important to make a statement here in India too. Yeah, and I think Auto Show is the most important platform in Asia's biggest uh, auto show here. And Street 750 again, you know, Anoop has is, been talking about it and Siddharth has seen it at ICMA. And we just uh, did a special preview at India Bike Week. And Auto Show was the place where we thought it's bang on to uh, launch the product and as Harley says, we fulfill dreams of personal freedom and that's it for the India market. Thank you. I have to ask you, the reaction to the price? It's been phenomenal and we've got so much uh, enthusiasm and inspiration which is coming away from so many other um, customers across, not just India, even across the globe. Because this product is actually not just for India, but it's a global bike for the global generation. And we're really looking forward 
for some great um, inputs coming from our customers. March 1st is when booking starts and that's, that's when we start rolling. We want one soon, sooner than that maybe. Thank you, congratulations. And the first great part of that story is that the bikes will be made in India for Europe as well. So that makes it even more special. First time Harley manufacturing completely outside of the US. Now the last award that we have for you is of course the production car debut, the big launch this time around, Dhruv. So this is a car that I enjoyed driving very much last month, the Maruti Solerio. It's the AMT that's capturing everybody's attention. Uh, you had lots and lots of people on your stand, I don't know to tell you that. Please tell us how the people have reacted to that car. So first of all, thank you for the award, NDTV CNB. The response has been tremendous for the automatic gear shift technology. And uh, we are very sure that it will revolutionize the Indian uh, auto scene with this. I think we are the harbingers of a revolution here. There's been a big gap there because of mainly price. Now we are seeing for the first time the difference between the automatic and manual variant is not too high. Uh, that of course was the intent for you behind it. What sort of order mix do you expect? See, that only time will tell, but as such, it's not only the price, but also the fuel efficiency, which is 23.1, uh, again, a class leading one, as well as the maintenance, maintenance and so on. So, uh, all in all, it's a very value for money package here. And like I said, that is the reason we feel that it will revolutionize the industry space here. Whether it's going to 50% or 80% or 30%, time will tell. Let's see. All right. Thank you so much. So, there you have it, folks. The Maruti Suzuki Celerio is, of course, the big launch. It was no surprise there. We got tons and tons of feedback on that one. And unlike Dhruv, I still haven't driven it, so I'm dying to, especially the AMT. As we wrap this up, we want to thank all of you. Thank you to the AutoX uh, team as well, and Dhruv, you in particular. Um, your thoughts as the Expo comes to a close as well. You know, 2013 hasn't been the easiest year for the industry, but I think everyone put on a brave face and uh, put their best foot forward. It's been a very good week and I think it's turned uh, sentiment into a very positive mood. Uh, I think it's been a very good show from all counts, from the organizers as well as the participants. Extremely professional, very international and again ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for yourselves, the industry. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs>